Yeah. Hey guys, it's TT here, and I'm back with another okay. vlog. But today we're yeah. actually bleaching my hair. Yes. Fingers crossed, you guys. It's all gonna come out well. So. These okay, so you guys, a little sad story. So yesterday I filmed the entire bleaching process, only for me to get done and check the like. I put my memory card in my laptop, and the whole file was corrupted. Like I don't know what. I don't even know how it happened. But anyways, so that didn't work. But the good part is I'm actually going to bleach it again. So I'm gonna repeat the same process today. But right now, this is what we have. And I have already like learned some lessons already. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did wrong and you know, just things to look out for. So yesterday I used this Clarol BW3 or BW2 um, powder. And I used the uh, 30 volume developer as well. First things first, because I use a 30 volume developer, like my hair started to turn super fast. So that's something to keep in mind. So I was like, I was still applying bleach hair and I already started to see my hair turn. And so I feel like because of that, I did not get an equal amount, uh, amount of like bleaching. Antes no era así, quemaba con cuero todo ese dolor. Also, another thing that I noticed was, um, I did, I wanted to cut my hair a little bit and I should have actually cut my hair first before bleaching because one, I would use less bleach like that and then two, I can actually like see all the areas. But I bleached my hair the way it was and then after bleaching I actually went, I shaved it myself with my clippers and then so I definitely have like dark spots right here. So if I wasn't, if I didn't intend to bleach it some more, that would be a problem. But because I, I'm actually going for like an ashy blonde, so I had a feeling that one bleach would not like take. So that's fine. And then lastly, so this blue based one actually cancels out a lot of the brassiness, so you get better results with this. So today she recommended using this one instead. And then I also got the 20 volume developer, this one, and it's actually for sensitive scalp, so it's perfect, especially because I this is my second time. I'm bleaching my hair in like a short period of time. So this, let me show you what you will need. So I have, you know, my bowl, my brush, I have the bleach, of course, and then I have gloves, and then I have the volume developer. So to start, I'm gonna mix this entire packet. I'm gonna throw it in here and then use half of this volume developer um, in there. And then um, I'm gonna use the other half um, with the toner whenever I do get to that point. So let's go ahead and get that started. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Acted kinda innocent this morning. You don't wanna talk it out. I agree the talking feels pointless. Still it happens every night. You know that I need ya. But I'm so sick of this, not sure I can leave ya It'd be so hard to quit, but every night that we explode Wish I could walk out that door, hate that I need ya yeah. Play it cool, just keep on dancing Soon we'll burn down into ashes Cause you keep playing with matches Hate that I want ya yeah. Running out of second chances, oh, oh, oh You keep taking me for granted, oh, oh, oh Cause I don't wanna do this any longer But somehow it's too hard to walk But somehow it's too hard to walk away now It's literally white. I think I kind of like it. Like, what? This, I have never had hair this color. But okay, let me go ahead and just apply toner. But let me show you guys a 360, just so you can see that. I think it kind of bleached evenly around. Okay, so two things to note with the toner. It definitely, it stinks, you know, a little bit, probably because this is my second, oh, this is the second time I'm applying bleach on my hair. Also, I'm kind of kind of scared. I don't want it to make my hair purple because it was already like white. So, I don't think I'm gonna leave this on for that long, honestly, because I already, I pretty much liked the color I saw already. 
so I feel like I could have done without a toner. Gosh, you guys, I'm so annoyed. It definitely gave my hair a purple tint. Like, it definitely did. Like, I loved, I loved the color I had before. Like, it definitely gave it a purple tint. And you guys, I hope you guys can see it. Ugh. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair with neutralizing shampoo. Like, as soon as I put it on and I saw that it turned, I just, I could just tell. But anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wash my hair with some neutralizer shampoo. Okay, well, so this is what it looks like right now after rinsing out the toner and like shampooing my hair, um, just like with a neutralizing shampoo. It did leave that purple tint, like I said, but honestly, I can still work with this. I would have been a lot more upset if I left the thing on for like 30 minutes and then my hair came out purple. So, let me show you guys a close up. So this is what it looks like. Um, I can definitely live with this. Like I am not even upset at this. I'm telling you, every single time I try to color my hair, it always comes out. It always comes out bad. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put some coconut oil in my hair right now because like my head is tight. So I'm gonna put some coconut oil. I'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner. Just gonna try to moisturize as much as I can. Then I'm gonna try to find a barber shop around me because I want to get like a nice fresh cut and then I'm going to show you guys the final look. Okay you guys, so this is what we're working with right now. I absolutely love, I think I love how it came out. I ended up shaving my hair myself and I actually like cut it, like did the whole like shape and line and all that myself. So, cause I was like, you know what? I don't even know a barber here and I, I didn't want to risk it going to somebody that's going to mess it up. So yeah, I just did it myself. I hope I did a decent job. And yeah, that's I ended up actually going to Ulta and I, not Ulta, um, Sally's. And I bought a clarifying shampoo. Remember, I didn't really like, I thought the toner did like too much, like it gave it a purple tint. So I bought some clarifying shampoo and I washed it with this. I think it balanced it back. But this is what we're working with. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this little experimental vlog. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.